Hello dear, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kema and today I bring you a prophetic word. It's sort of a word of caution, warning, so that you do not get into trouble. Okay, so um so earlier I was in the morning while praying, I saw a vision. So the vision I, I saw a shark with his mouth open, ready to swallow, and it was while praying, so it felt so real that I came out of the whole experience and the only thing that was in my spirit was the story of Jonah. Jonah is someone who was someone in scripture who was sent on assignment and Jonah didn't want to do what he was sent to do. He didn't want to walk according to the will of God and he went in a different direction. Now going in that direction, he got on a boat or a ship and God sent a great wind and that great wind um, almost caused a shipwreck and the whole people were really inquiring what's the cause of this until they found out it was Jonah and threw him into the water where he was swallowed by a fish. Now Jonah was in the belly of the fish and he had to repent there after staying there for three days. And the fish still brought him back to his place of assignment. So the Lord is saying to me, so when I so that is the story. And and this was what the Lord said to me. He said, You know that this word is for you. He said, Jonah, be careful to so that you follow God's will. If not, the fish is ready to swallow, and it is totally unnecessary, says the Lord. Just obey me stop being a cause of disaster to others that are in the boat with you the delay is unnecessary just align and obey this is what the lord said to me and this is what i want to say to you so i just pray for you that you would align and obey you know the belly of the fish represents challenges that were unnecessary scars that we bring upon ourselves that were not necessary if only we had aligned if only we had obeyed okay so the lord feels after being in the belly of the fish he still landed at the place of the assignment so can we cut the drama of the fish can we cut the drama of the challenge don't let god touch a part of your life and put it on hold to get your attention just all you need to do is say yes lord and done lord just align be yielded so i pray that god will release the grace upon you and this word will quicken you to be able to align god bless you see you next time thank you